Hi everybody. It's been a while, I know, but I'm working full time, full out, so it gets harder. But I'm I'm still here. I still think about making videos and getting them to you. So today, this is something I personally have been doing for a month now. And um, the original goal was uh, six weeks and reevaluate. And now I'm looking at doing this at least until the end of October. We're mid-August right now. And it's a great time to do this sort of thing. It's um, green smoothie. What I do is I drink a whole blender of green smoothie a day. And I drink at least 100 ounces of water, which is five of these. Got one ready to go. Five of these. I've eliminated, well, I don't, I'm vegan, so I don't eat any uh, animal foods. Uh, any animals, <laughs> they're not foods, they're animals. They're, they have a central nervous system like we do. So um, no processed foods, because even in health foods, you know, uh, there's a lot of processed foods there. You know, if it's not real food like this, you know, and like these fruit, it's processed. So, um, and no oils. And so I just want to see maybe some olive oil. So what I've been doing is you have to start in the morning making sure. I make sure by noon I have at least uh, 40 ounces of water in me and at least um, uh, I do a heavy metal green smoothie besides this and I do one of these at least before noon because otherwise you'll get backed up if you wait too long and you'll not get it in you. First thing, most important ingredient, this is so simple to do. You just need a good Vitamix and, um, or another blender. I love the Vitamix. You know, you can buy these, they have reconditioned ones. Reconditioned generally means that someone ordered it and never used it and returned it. You know, people have these ideas of getting healthy and then they don't follow through. So <clears throat> I've got, this is my friend who, uh, uh, Renee's, uh, blender. I've got one just like it packed away. So uh, it's invaluable as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I use this every day. So first thing are your flax seeds, your omega-3s. I'm sure you've heard about omega-3s, omega-6s. It gets so complicated. Basically, in, are in generally in this country, North America, everybody's getting too many omega-6s and that's inflammatory. The root cause, the chronic diseases are skyrocketing, the root cause of all disease, okay? So <clears throat> omega-3s we don't make. And a lot of people are going and buying a lot of really expensive fish oils. I mean, I worked at a health food store, I was a buyer. I know because, you know, and the fish oil companies have the, all kinds of different ones. I mean, I see the customers standing there going, oh my God. And I said, just go buy some flaxseed. <laughs> or chia seed, flaxseed or chia seed, plenty. And it's a lot less expensive. You want to buy the whole seed, the whole flaxseed. Do not buy the ground one. It turns out to be more expensive. So easy to do. I mean, look at this. It's got a half a cup of ground, of oh, flaxseed in here. That's it. They're ground. Okay. Um, you could also, to get this, you could also do stuff like chia puddings, but I do green smoothies every day. I really would hope that everybody would do at least one green smoothie every day because that's where you're going to get these powerhouse greens and they are the powerhouse uh, greens among vegetables. So um, in my training, they were always good for the lung area, the, the leafy greens, you know, we always considered this really good for the lungs. All the leafy, all the leafy greens. Want the dark leafy greens. This is kale. I hope you know this is kale. Awesome. So, um, so this this uh, green smoothie is first of all. And if you haven't been doing the flaxseed or something, you might want to just start with two tablespoons a day, then work up to a quarter, and then to a half cup, like I'm doing. I've been doing this a long time, so I went right into a half cup. It wasn't a problem for me. So, and I've always been adding flax to the smoothies I've made over the years. So what you add to this, or you wanna fill most of it with leafy greens. Now, what I have here is I have washed and chopped up a whole bunch of kale, okay? And uh, chop it up, it just makes it easy. Not that this machine can't handle it, but it just makes more sense coming in like this. 
and I've got some, um, I had some parsley, so I said, hey, I'm using that up. I have some spinach in here, so I wanted to use it up. I did some of the spinach in this uh, quinoa bowl, that uh, quinoa broccoli bowl that I made for my supper last night. So I just want to use up the rest here. And whatever I don't use will go into tomorrow. Now, um, I'll talk to you about the doctor, the woman doctor who uh, does this and healed herself of lupus. Any autoimmune, actually, she's got books. I'll show you the books. I'll put them in the description. So, you know, that's pretty good. I've packed that down, okay? Now I've got a whole bunch of water here. And part of my 100, 120 ounces of water is this. So, oh, you know, five of these, one of them is in these green smoothies. So I will um, fill that up pretty much to the top of that. You want it to blender well. I've measured this out ahead of time. This is, uh, this is 20 ounces right here that I'm good. Now, what's gonna sweeten this up? Just know, Greens are bitter. They just are bitter. And that's that's the bent. That's good. That's good. The most bitter part of the kale is the stem here. So if you're just starting out, just cut off the stem. Okay? Um, I don't worry about it because I like the bitter taste. But how you deal with the bitter, the fruit. The fruit is what's going to make it go down. Okay? So if you're just starting out, add more fruit. <clears throat> then you're going to see me adding. Okay? And um, that's where you're getting your sweet from. That's where we should be getting our sweet from. So I've got, you know, some apple slices that I'm gonna put in here. Da, da, da. I love this food. <laughs> I sat down, I sit down to my meals. I'm so grateful to my daughter, Bree. She started all this, you know. Thank God she came into my life. And um, I remember someone thinking that I was gonna eat differently when she passed away and like, why? You know, she trained me up so beautifully. Now I have a leftover an orange, half an orange from making the sauce for my bowl, my quinoa bowl last night. So that's gonna go in. And uh, some banana. This is a great way to get your fruit. You know, if you're starting anywhere, a green smoothie is, is really, if you're just starting on your wellness journey, first remember to heal your gut lining I got just a little bottle here, but Ion, Ion Gut Health, because um, I know from experience that even eating good foods, if you've got, and you have to have some form of leaky gut, remember, because Roundup glyphosate is in 75% of our air, soil, and water. It's just the way it is right now. So, but we have choices. We're not victims. There's things we can do. So I take this, been taking it for a long time, heals up the gut lining. Now everything's going to absorb better. And that's what you want. You, this is great stuff. You want it to absorb. So then I've got some wonderful uh, grapes. Great time of year for these grapes. They just look beautiful. Now, uh, this, in a sense, it doesn't cook it, but if you let it, let it go a long time, it, it starts. I mean, you can make raw soups in this. You can do all kinds of stuff in this Vitamix. So what I do is I'm just going to get this started. Is. You can put in some frozen fruit like mango. I, I put frozen cream berry, I put mango, I put frozen pears, whatever might be out of season, um, or straight ice. That's your choice. I'm going to go for it. You know, add some more fruit. You know, the variety. Really important for variety for your microbiome. Okay, diversity, diversity. I was first told that in 19, mid 80s, when my, I took my daughter to her first uh, consultation for health, plant-based diet, macrobiotics. And uh, when I asked Nietzsche Kushi, you know, how can I cook as Bree's mom? Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You'll always know with parents who lose children that, um, the grief comes in waves at unexpected times for them. So uh, sometimes you're fine and all of a sudden, boom, it just, you, you feel it. Anyway, he told me 
because he was Japanese, so his explanation was to eat wide, which it means diversity. And now, the doctor who wrote Fiber Fuel, great book, by the way. The only thing he's missing, as far as I'm concerned, is ion, ion gut health. But otherwise, he's straight on. Uh, you can use that, or you can use ice. I'll just put a couple. I, I'm much more to the frozen food than the ice, but each to their own, you know. There we go. So, ingredients. Flaxseed. You have to grind them up for them to absorb into your body. Remember that. But you want to do them fresh because, you know, seeds can go ranches. I keep all my seeds and nuts in the fridge also because they can go rancid. So, and when you're shopping, you know, I, certain stores keep uh, bulk flaxseed and gold or brown, it doesn't matter, okay? They keep them in like an open cooler and those are the best, you know, the packaged ones. I much rather when I can get it in bulk in an open cooler because you know it's been kept cool. So now I'll just give that a really good blender. Way to a friend because I wanted a red one. <laughs> I know, whatever, right? So, um, so now I have these great little jars, and I know they're 16 ounce each. And uh, so I fill those up. They came with these great caps. You know, uh, these. You know, I have these great glasses. I don't have one right here, but they're 16 ounce. They have these nice covers to them just makes it easier for storage and to carry. These are great traveling because uh, sometimes I'm not on the road. So I like these caps. But that's perfect, okay? So this is, uh, <laughs> this is it. And these are delicious. Mm, that's spot on. So, this is something, you know, summer is great time to do raw. Once the fall comes in, I start craving, you know, vegetable soups and winter squashes and sea vegetable dishes. And, you know, just after these years, just naturally that happens. But summertime, you know, even, hopefully you're not, but even if you're eating animal food, animal food heats you up. You're gonna have a much harder time dealing with the heat of the summer if you're a heavy animal food eater it's just the way it is why do you think you know that and they don't live long but you know northern northern indigenous people you know ate well they didn't have the availability but mostly animals they also didn't live very long so um anyway the doctor i want to mention to you she's she's doing great work uh goodbye lupus any of you autoimmune is skyrocketing by the way um because of the use of glyphosate and roundup and from the late 90s, the chronic disease is escalating along with that use. And the chemical companies have given another 13 years to continue this. But we have we have ways to deal with this. We are we're we're not victim. So goodbye lupus, goodbye autoimmune, and she's got a green smoothie book. Pretty simple. I've done much more complicated uh, green smoothies in the past than this. I will put those in uh, the description. But so just know, you know, you can do this. Even if you're not doing, I'm, I, I am, I tend to, I like to up things, I like to up things. So, you know, I, you know, drinking these most of, that's it for the day. And then at supper I have uh, half raw, half cooked. So I would say, you know, 90%, at least right now, if not 95% is raw food. But the summer is a perfect time. If I lived in a southern climate, I'd probably do, you know, differently, but I live in the Northeast and uh, we have some interesting, I love the winters, but you know, you've gotta be, you eat accordingly. 
So it's flaxseed, a variety of greens. Know that the stems are bitter, so, uh, you know, as a beginner, you can cut those off. Uh, you know, you've got kale, you've got collards. I love collard greens. You've got mustard greens are more bitter, but you've got those. You've got, there was a, a bit of Swiss char in here. Char is great, but the stems on char, they're, they're okay. They're not bitter, just so you know. Um, I put some Italian parsley in this, uh, but really focus. I put spinach. Uh, I like to focus on the real leafy green, okay? So, uh, because those are just so highly nutritious for your body. Uh, think about this, if nothing else, <clears throat> make this and have it for two or three days. At least get the flaxseed and the greens into you. Because you can, you know, I will steam greens like kale or collards and, uh, you know, I sprinkle pumpkin seeds on them. Um, for supper or any time of the day, but to get a really uh, big, good amount into you, it's the smoothies are gonna do it. So I hope uh, this is great food for thought. I do love sharing with you guys. It's just, it's just a matter of time and I uh, gotta make a living. <laughs> so um, I will, when I can, I'll make, I've got ideas, I've got things that I would love to share with you. So, but this, we're right in the middle of summer. This is a good one to share with you right now. Please, uh, if you like the like it, from what I understand, and I'm not a big technical person, liking and subscribing is helpful. So you, you probably know more about that than I do. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, we can all thank my daughter, Bree, for uh, she's the one that has brought all this to, to me, to us. <laughs>